Okay, so we created our first program earlier. Now let's create a new project or you can keep the project you have and start from scratch. I do highly recommend you actually type out everything that I type so that you put this to your muscle memory and you won't have to look up everything as you go. So I started off with my Visual Studio. I'm gonna do a new project. And under Visual C++ Templates, I'm gonna click Win32, Win32 Console Application. I'm going to leave the default name, but you can name it whatever you want, and hit OK. A summary of what I just did, a couple of options, I'm going to leave them as default, as normal, and finish. Let it create its, uh, the environment. OK, so here we are, we have our standard stdafx.h. That's a pre-compiled header that is going to stay there so that Visual Studio can run what it needs to run in order to run our programs. And again, most of our programs will have the IO stream included. So include IO stream as a header file. Now in our integer main function, we're going to create some more Couts. And I'm going to show you a couple of things with integers and other data types and how Cout integrates that within its um, extraction and, and insertion operators. Uh, let's begin with something very simple. Uh, we're going to create integers. And before, in the first program, we only created one integer. You can create multiple integers on one line of code. Integer 1, comma, integer 2, comma, sum. You can even create integers and assign them on the fly just like that as well. I can say integer 1 equals 0, integer 2 equals 0, and some I'm not even going to say what that is. So you don't have to assign them, but you can. Just throwing that out there. Now don't forget, we have our standard C out. And we're going to have enter first integer. And re remember, backslash n is an escape character to give a new line. C in, we're going to actually see in integer 1. C out to the screen, enter second integer backslash n, which is a new line, C in your second integer. So what we have so far, let me summarize here, we created a space in memory to store three integer variables, integer 1, and we assign that to be 0, integer 2 assigned to be 0, and sum, which has no assignment. Uh, we will see out to the screen enter first integer. That's asking us on the screen to enter it with our keyboards. Standard CN is going to take whatever comes from the keyboard and store it into variable integer 1. Next line of code, it's going to ask you to enter the second integer, take what's stored in the keyboard at that point, and store it into integer 2. C++ allows you to do simple math operations. Um, for example, we're going to create the sum, which is already defined as an integer, equals integer 1 plus integer 2. And you can go down with this menu and highlight that. Don't forget the semicolon. Now to print out the sum, we can do C out. Sum is and now I can use the insertion operator again to insert more things into the stream, the C out stream to be specific. Sum is, and now the variable sum, now I'm going to end the line. And we have the return zero down here already put in for us. Um, now let's not forget, most of these programs are going to run and then they're going to uh, close before we even get to read anything. So let's put our little pause in there. We already have variables called integer 1, 2, and sum. We can reuse those variables if we'd like. Uh, it might cause some confusion, so I'm going to go ahead and not do that. I'm going to create a whole new variable called pause and see in pause just 
so that we can see the output before it closes on us. So consider this our pause, you know, uh, code or whatever you want to call it. And to run this, don't forget F5 or debug, start debugging. Let's see if we have any errors first. It'll give us any errors that might pop up. Enter first integer, I'm going to enter 13, enter. Enter second integer, I'm going to enter 7, enter. Sum is 20. So it worked. And then it paused. So now it's asking us for another character or integer value. Type it in, hit enter. The reason why characters work for integers is because integers and characters are actually just integer values. Um, so that's our second program, and it's just showing us how to use uh, variables, how to add add variables. You can also do these without creating sum. If we wanted to, we can delete the, the word sum there, get rid of that variable. Let's not worry about doing the mathematics here. I'm going to comment that out. And I could simply say, see how it's highlighted there? Because sum is no longer declared, and you have to declare all variables before you use them. Instead, I'm just going to go ahead and say integer 1 plus integer 2. And this will, in effect, do the same exact thing. Let's try it out. F5, first integer 13, second integer, well, let's try a different one. I'll do uh, 21. So the sum is 34. That makes sense. So it worked. Now, now it didn't store the sum anywhere, but you can do mathematical operations within the stream itself. And so the C out stream will actually take in as arguments, so to speak, your integer values, and it's going to do the math on them and print the mathematical equivalent of what integer 1 plus integer 2 is. And that concludes our second quick program. I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the third one.